The Phoenix Mercury hosted the New York Liberty last night at the Footprint Center, and it was the return of Sandy Brondello. While the Mercury made sure they beat their former coach, they also gave her a warm reception. Crockett News reporter Ruby Aurora was there for the homecoming. Sandy Brondello was welcomed home last night as the current Liberty coach stepped on the court at Footprint Center for the first time since leaving the Mercury last year. No one appreciated her more than her former players. I appreciate Sandy. Um, she was the first coach to actually really give me a chance and give me some minutes and productive. And if it wasn't for her, I don't think I would still be in the league right now. So thank you, Sandy. I had a great, great relationships with the players. And, you know, obviously I coach with a different team, but I'm always rooting for them and, and uh, you know, wishing the best for them. Sky was literally the limit, and it was nothing but love as the Phoenix Mercury defeated their former head coach, Sandy Brondello, and New York Liberty, 84-81. to It's great to have her back here. You know, she's such a great coach and did a great, um, a lot of great things for the organization. Uh, but for us, it's another game. You know, we got to go to battle uh, outside feeling you have to go and compete. Diana Taurasi scored 23 points on the night and became the first WNBA player in history to make 3,000 field goals a feat she said only took 18 years, 10 of those years of which she thanked Brondello for, for her guidance. Uh, she was the most giving, uh, the most humble um, coach I've ever been around. Um, and the one thing I appreciated the most about her is she treated everyone the same. Uh, and I think that, that goes a long way uh, for humanity. And, and Sandy does that every single day to everyone. The win was a nice cap on the first half of the season as the Mercury have five days off for the All-Star break. In Phoenix, Ruby Arora, Cronkite News.